It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bottle of Gower Brewery's Lighthouse Ale coming in at 4.5% ABV. And we're going to be pairing it with a British style Rissole and Chips. So first and foremost, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. There's the bottle cap. Ooh. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass then. Two to three finger white head, good levels of carbonation. There's a slight haze in there, but I would generally say it's very well, it's very nicely made, very nicely, it's a very nice beer to look at. The clarity is very good even though it's, it's unfiltered. Light straw coloured, let's get the aroma. It's like lemony. Light malty aroma, spice, black pepper. It smells okay, let's dive in, cheers. Crisp, refreshing, very light on the, but I mean, great drinkability. When I say very, very light, I mean, great drinkability to the beer. Very zesty, zingy, carbonated on your palate. The, get, the beer gets pushed around quite a lot, releases more of that flavor. It's a bit of a livener, to be honest. It's a lunchtime livener for me here. I like that crisp yet bitter finish on the back end. I like that bitterness, the pepperiness, and I like the, the lemon flavours coming through. Touch of grapefruit. And I also like that little bit of sweetness at the beginning. Let's see if it is indeed bottle conditioned. I would say unfiltered. A lovely beer. Now you want to see what a rissole is. I've never eaten a rissole. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, one of my viewers, or a, a, a gentleman who I, who I actually brewed with, uh, Richard Bennett uh, from the Pilot Brewery. I did a sausage and batter review a few months ago and, and it went down really well. Uh, so British, Fish and chips are always wrapped in, in newspaper or paper. And he, what he said to me was, after I did the sausage and batter review, he said, do a rissole and chips. That'll confuse everybody. So I've had a little, done a little bit of research. Um, there's an Australian type of rissole. It more or less looks like a British faggot. This is a British kind of traditional rissole that you usually buy in chip shops, which I have today. Uh, it's crispy batter, corned beef, a little bit of mashed potato, and some onion. I don't know whether to just cut it in half so you can see it, or just bite into it and show you. Let's bite into it and show you. Mmm. Deep fried mashed potato with corned beef and some onion and there's some lovely spice in there as well mm. also i got the the lady on the counter and the fish i'll put some salt and vinegar on there lovely tangy vinegar flavour coming through but that's there's your rissole there that is a British traditional rissole which you don't really see that much anymore I was surprised I thought to myself I fancy doing this video today <coughs> pardon me it's been it's been on my mind to do the video since since Richard mentioned it and I finally got around to doing it and I thought where am I going to get one where am I where am I going to get a rissole and chips I went around the corner into my local chip shop. 
And then it was sitting there in the in the little heat thing. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a wrestle and chips for for review. Crispy breadcrumb batter, onions nice and tasty. It's going to maintain its heat, it's very stodgy. This is a traditional kind of food to, to, to fill you up quickly. If you've been down the mine or you've, if you've been on a construction site, worked hard, you're hungry, it's lunchtime, or you've just finished work in the evening, you're hungry, you want something quick, snappy, you're shaking for food, dive into the chip shop. This will sort you out. This will sort you out. How does it go with the beer? Mmm, it's really tasty. I can't believe I've never had one of these before. Pairs up very nicely with a beer, it really does. I'm gonna chuck that down. Pick up a couple of chips. The chips are okay from my local chip shop. This, we got two chip shops, to be honest, there's one down the street. Uh, there's another one just 50 yards away. I went to, I wanted to produce this video, so I wanted to be there quick, so I just went to the closest chip shop I could. Chips are looking slightly anemic. They're a little bit powdery. They've never really been great from my local chip shop. I always, if I want fish and chips, I'll either go down to the bottom fish and chip shop or I'll jump in the car and go to one of the best chip shops around in Barry. You've got to have, if you're going to pay decent amounts of money, it's not cheap these days, is it? It's like two pounds for a bag of chips these days. I'm thinking, blimey, what? When I was young, when I was growing up, the first bag of chips I ever bought was 25 pence, but I am now nearly 40. And I was buying chips when I was eight. Um, but if you're gonna be pay two pound for a bag of chips, you might as well jump in the car and go and pay two pound for a bag of chips in a decent chip shop, in a chip shop that's, that's well-renowned and very good. It's got a great reputation. This type of chip shop, You know the ones that just hang on? It's in a bit of a busy area. You're always going to have walking traffic. You're always going to have people walking past. There's always a temptation to go in there. It's that type of chip shop. You know, it's just kind of like struggling on. But there's enough people in the local area without cars just to keep it going. Yeah. I'm going to rate the beer. It's a really nice lunchtime pint that goes really well with the wrestle and chips. I feel very satisfied now. I've been out for my walk, I've done my six hour, six mile walk today. Got home hungry. It's not bad. Gower Brewery's Lighthouse Ale. I like that enough. Great lacing on the glass, good looking beer, nice and tasty. Bitter, sweet, peppery, spicy, lemony, grapefruity. It's it's an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten from Real Craft Beer. The Rissel. I like that. I really do. I like the spice. I like the pepperiness. I like that savoury, crispy breadcrumbed outer edge. Corned beef is tasty. Mashed potatoes, lovely. And there's a nice bit of onion in there as well, just to add to that flavour. I like that enough to give that an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer for the Rissol. Can't remember what I give the beer now, a 7 was it? Please put your comments in the comments box. 
subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.